Hello, uh, Lonesy Squad. Welcome back to our video. Tip back in Greenville. In today's video, we're reviewing the most used buildings in Greenville. Just to let you know, these are my opinion. You guys do not have to agree with me. Honestly, I'm just thinking these are the most used buildings in Greenville because, honestly, they're usually used a lot. So, yeah. Today, we're going to be reviewing the most used buildings in Greenville. But, yeah. Anyways, here's today's video. Shut up. And if you want to be sure to subscribe when we put official NG Squad member, make sure to buy some of the fire merch in the description as always. But yeah. Anyways, also make sure to join my Discord group and also make sure to follow me on Twitter at NZ Series. But yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and review for number five. For number five, let's go over this way. Alright, so for number five, we have Bulk Priced Food Store. There we go. Come inside here. We have Green Square, and we also have the Mexican restaurant right like next to it. Oops. I don't like how they added that there. It sucks. Anyways, um, we have the Mexican restaurant here. Cash registers, and we also have tacos. Oh. We have like the back room where is the cafeteria. Well, I feel like the Mexican restaurant bulk should be updated. I don't I mean the buildings are okay. I just don't I just think it needs a revamp The bulk price food shop so if we come in here we have uh, some I think snack um, dried fruit chips sugar-free dips and pretzels Gummy candy and chocolate candy. Over here we have beans, sauce, rice, and pasta. Over here we have soups, gravy, and breakfast. Over here we have seasonings, drinks, smoothies, and cappuccinos. And over here we have dairy. We also have frozen foods. Over here we have the carts we usually have. Oopsies gluten-free and organic over here we have the bathroom which I would wish, wish this like water fountain worked that'd be nice we come over here we have some more like cookies over here we have fillings flour and baking over here we have like bakery so we can bake donut pizza uh, whatever this is scone I think pie pancake brownie mix biscuit and apple pie over here we have sprinkles over here we have gifts over here we have the crash register I don't know why these don't work anymore but usually whenever you would do that it would give you a bag but it doesn't do that anymore for some reason but yeah anyways now it's time to get on with the next voting for number four for number four let's go over to Towards the twist. Oh, nice. Anyways, we're here at the next building, which is Scenic for number four. Yes, Scenic is usually used a lot, but not the interior is ever really used. Usually, the exterior of the building is used because of the gas tanks. So, yeah. Usually, the gas tanks are used only. Usually, never the... Like the interior, which is sad. But yeah, this is like the fourth used building in Greenville. Let me know what you guys' opinion is on my decision. Do you think I'm correct or wrong? But yeah. Anyways, now it's time to go on. Number three, actually. So the next building is near the Burger King. So let's go over there. Here's a little time lapse of me on the way to the next building. All right, we are pulling up to the next building, which is Just Buy, AKA Best Buy. So basically, this building is coming in at number three for the most used buildings in Greenville. Do you guys think this is honestly a used building? Honestly, I think it is. Cause it's really nice of a building, honestly. I really like the building, so yeah. Oh yeah, those open too, I forgot about that. 
through the open. Pretty cool. But yeah, this building is honestly pretty cool. You have phone and video. You have smart home speakers. You have computers. You can buy Roblox. Up tops. Phones. iPads. Computers. Things like that. Pretty cool. Anyways. So, if we look over here, we have car stereos, we have refrigerators, we have uh, laundry and dryers, we have the sky or something like that. And also, if you come to the back, you can also wear your own Just Buy shirt. So, just go ahead and click this for the shirt. You can also do this. Yeah, you can also do that one too. I don't want to put it on because it looks ugly. So, yeah. Let's go out again. Flags. Alright. Alright, so this is number three. So let's go on with number two. Anyways, for the next building, we have Box Mountain Bank for number two. Here it is. Um, like a lot of people used to actually didn't really like the building in Greenville 4 and Greenville 3 because it really had no detail. But now it's like it has so much detail into the building that honestly it deserves a place for two. So here's the interior. We have coffee. We have like a little sitting area with the TV. Over here we have like a little like sitting kind of area. Over here we have an office. Over here we have another office, and over here we have another office. If we come over here, we have a bedroom. A bedroom. Bro, I know I did not just call this a bedroom. This is a restroom. If you come over here, use the bathroom. There's also a sink. Over here, you have a back room. Not really nothing special, but if you come over here, you have the back where you can actually work. And here's also where you can work. Authorized employees only. It's like a back room, like a bank, kind of. Yeah, this is, this is a bank, which also has money. You can steal it if you like. Over here, you can, like, have the back room where you can, like, control the outside. Easy. And if you come outside, like, the actual, like, the actual outside. There's also air. There's also this. Really cool. I like the detail of this building. Honestly, this might be my favorite building in Greenville. But I think my favorite building in actually Greenville is just by just saying. But anyways, for the next building, for number one, we have a, a building. You guys will see it um, in a bit. Yes, there is a lot of buildings in Greenville. This is honestly pretty hard to make because I don't really know what buildings I could actually add to this series. But for number one, we have the Super Witch, aka Subway. So here it is. Honestly, this is the most used building in Greenville, for my opinion. I don't know really any other buildings that could come in at number one. But like, honestly, this building is honestly very detailed. It has TVs, it has seating areas, it has things where you can throw your food away, um, bathrooms. The men's bathroom, and we also have the women's bathroom. Over here, we have the exterior of the place, which also has a trash can. Over here, we have a uh, um, what is this um menu? Then we come back here. You have a deep freezer. Over here, we have like a little cooking area. If you come back here, you actually have a lot of detail. You have bread, microwaves, soda. You can click here for your extra sub. Nom 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 And you also have working cash registers I'm pretty sure Yep Robux And we also have coffee we have um Some food here And yeah But yeah, we also have like those air things outside of the building Honestly, this building is honestly pretty used I like this building so much because of the detail let me know what your guys' opinion is on Super Witch. Do you guys think it deserves its place as number one? Let me know. Yes or no. But yeah. Honestly, I think that's a today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe. And also make sure to join my Discord group. And also make sure to follow me on Twitter at NZ Series. But yeah. Anyways, that's going to wrap today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. And yeah. 
Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And I'll catch you guys probably in the next video. Anyways, thank you guys all for watching. Thank you guys all for subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.